number five. I like his punt out number five, Cully Hanna. They've sort of camped here for this last Perfect. number of years. Cully Hanna will play, Brian. Seven. Cully Hanna will play seven, Donald Moore. Peter McKenna, Donald Moore, you got the RMA lads, a good Tyrone RMA derby. What's your reaction to getting Cully Hanna? Oh, well, it's the, it's the reaction would be the same for everyone. Uh, we know that Colliana they've won the past three Armagh Championships and obviously they're a good side so as you say, Throne Armagh would be looking forward to facing them now. How big a deal is it for Dunnock Moore to be here for the first time at this tournament? Ah well we would say it as a very big deal ourselves, we're very proud of what we've done uh, but saying that we're, uh, we're not happy with where we are now and we're not going to push on. When you think of Tyrone teams coming through as champions you're maybe thinking of the Oma, Dromore, Carrick Moore, those sort of teams, but Donick Moore, you maybe don't know much about them? Don't know much about them, and I'm sure they probably don't know much about us either. So, as I said, we had we played uh, Oma before, so we have we have experience against the throwing teams and other good teams, but hopefully we're a wee bit better this year than we were before. We've a good, strong core of players there, so hopefully that'll bring us through. Carrick Man, Tyrone. Eamon, number three, Clondon. So the Derry champions will play the Derry champions, Glen. It couldn't have been tougher if you uh, go by uh, the reputation, but that was last year, so this is this year, and we're looking forward to it. Our boys have been performing very well themselves in County Down, so we're confident enough and we'll go into it with uh, you know, every confidence. Well, Down teams uh, have a terrific reputation in this tournament. Yes, uh, Bryansford and Bourne have both won the competition. Bourne have won it twice. Uh, and uh, it's, it augurs well for the clubs in down that they have a high standard of competition inside the county themselves. So we're hoping that we can give the thing a lash and we'll see how it goes. Well, you look forward to meeting Ross Carr on the sideline. He's managing them. It's like a throwback 20 odd years. <laughs> that was a good referee in the sideline. <laughs> and I was pointing out ironic, I was down with Clint Huff talking to him about their underage setup last year. So somebody has listened to something, or, <laughs> or else maybe more pertinent they haven't listened. But now I would know a few boys around Clint Huff, so there'll be, sure be a bit of crack in the build up to it. And how pleased are you to be back with this bunch? You obviously had them at St Paul's winning the Ulster Minor Tournament. I can very enjoy it, and I have to say, I've got a great kick there. I've started there. And, Bit of months before the day championship started and immediately to be fair the boys bought in they've a great attitude they want to work hard and they're, they've got a taste for success and they like it but they know that everybody's coming to get them and when they've won competitions and it was we had a first struggle to get out of day so it was, it was good but their attitude's good and I'm, I'm enjoying working with them again and obviously that leaves <coughs> the man four. Eamon number four the Donegal champions number six against Matt McClellan and Monaghan so how have Maher Clown managed to get through? How have they managed to get this far? Hard work. We've been in four under 21 finals the past four years. Two Division 2, two Division 1. We've won two of them. Like, we've just kept improving. We finally get over the line this year. And what does it mean to be involved at Ulster level now? Oh, it means an awful lot. Like, to represent your club in an Ulster Championship, like, playing with the county is, is obviously a great achievement. Like, but King, oh, club's king. Like, I mean, it's all about the club and then to go into Ulster. Play for your club will obviously be a great achievement. True, have been in the final here in recent years, so maybe that's an inspiration for you. You can get there. Oh, without a shadow of a doubt. Like we probably would have played against them true boys. We know that we're just as good of players as them. So obviously, we're in this tournament. We're, we're in to win it. Make no mistake about it. You've been here a number of years, knocking on the door, trying to get through. You know what the competition's like. Can you tell us what you what you think of it? What it's been like for you? It's been a lot of mixed emotions. Four years, four, and eight, four years now, and we haven't really put our stamp on it yet. So this is the year everyone's rolling in now, and everyone's really getting behind it. And we feel this is our year, and we're going to try and give it our best. We are. We can see what it means to you and how disappointed you have been. That was you sitting on the floor at the end of the the Oma game. Yeah, well, tough, tough games. That's what you get in football. You're in it for the good times, you're in it for the bad times. So hopefully we'll have a good time this year, and hopefully we get what we what we want. Just that, that trophy. And just finally, you know this tournament well, you haven't managed that, but you've been up watching a lot of the games down the years, you know how good it is. Oh, it is. I've come here regularly for the years over, and always looking forward to hoping that we would get here, so it is nice to be here. It's less pressure when you're outside the way I enjoyed last year watching, but sure, it's great to be here. I'm, I'm enjoying being involved with these boys, and sure, it's where you want to be. Is there a certain confidence going right through Monaghan at the minute with the successes and the likes of Ulster Colleges? senior football, club level with Scotstown and so on? 
oh, without a shadow of doubt, man in football, you've seen what the seniors the past couple of years, two two also titles in three years, like man in football is definitely end up and hopefully we can continue on by winning the nothing one. Apart from your own game, looking around the rest of the draw, who do you see as pre tournament favourites? Who are you watching out for? Well, we're not watching out for anyone, but it's Wally Graham's are there, they've they've won it last year obviously, so they're obviously looking to retain their title, but as you say, everyone's in with a chance. Everyone's county champions, so everyone's coming here with momentum and they're coming here with good players, so it's just up to whoever turns up on the day. Well, Bank of Ireland's very proud to be back in the 2016 Under-21 tournament. Um, it's a tournament that's grown in stature year on year, and Bank of Ireland wants to get out into the communities, and it's great to see the gap being closed between minor football and senior football, and the commitment and enthusiasm displayed by all the players is absolutely fantastic. And the club here, what they put in is unbelievable. You saw it yourself last year. It's a great tournament. A fantastic setup, professionally handled, getting better year on year, and just proud to be affiliated with the club and with the tournament here.